good morning students now moving towards part 3 of our chapter 11 the united nations un of social science see there are few questions asked over here and think let us discuss that one do you believe that the number of permanent members in the security council should be increased why yeah uh, yeah I, i agree that the number of permanent members in the security council should be increased see the united nation that was established in 1945 and during the year many nations of the world have worked as a temporary members of security council till now and therefore they have vast experience of working of the security council some developing nations they have made noteworthy progress also in the various field and they have become developed nations so such members deserve to be a made permanent members of un to make such nations as permanent members of security council security council and the number of permanent members in the security council should be increased and why it is said that the post of the secretary general of the united nation carries a lot of responsibilities see the secretary general of united nation is also the head of the secretariat of the united nations and he is the main administrative officer of the united nations as the head of the secretariat and the chief officer of the united nation his work is to execute the decision taken by the different organs of the united nation so therefore it is said that the post of secretary general of the united nations that is un carries a lot of responsibilities and they have given your activity gather some information of the uh, other organs of un with the help of reference book and also collect the news articles from the newspaper related to un you have to perform this activity in your book now next is special organization of the united nations see what are the special organization of united nation let us discuss the main objective of united nation is to foster what social economic and cultural cultural and educational development of people see uh, the main uh, objective what what is the main objective of united nation is to have a social economic cultural and education development of the people and also to help them in improving their standard of living by uh, giving them more employment opportunities if they will get the op- employment their life will uh the way of living will improve and to achieve this objective to achieve all these objectives various organization have been established various organization they have established to improve the conditions of the people and in the work in the specific areas under the leadership of who's of the united nation so we will discuss them all name of the special organization of the un and the short form of that and the where is the headquarter of it and what are the main functions of the organs now we will discuss all of them the first one is world health organization and short form is who and the headquarter is in geneva and what are the main function of it that they makes effort to improve the physical and mental health what they improve the physical and mental health of the people of the world so this work is done by them who and that they make the effort to improve our physical and mental health uh, of the people of the world the second is uh, united Na- uh, nations educational scientific and cultural organization that is unesco u n e s c o that is uh, located in paris and the capital of france and the main function of unesco is to contribute to the peace and security through education science and culture and it's may its aim of further universal respect for justice law and human rights and the next one is the headquarters of international labor organization the i l o are located at geneva in switzerland and uh, the main function of ILO is to promote right at work encourage decent employment opportunities enhance social protection and strengthen 
dialogues on work related issues so this are the function which has been organized by this three now the fourth one is united nations international children's emergency fund now united nation international children's fund that is uh, unicef that is u n i c e f located uh, are located in new york that is in the city of usa and the main function of unicef is to provide long term humanitarian and development assistance to children and mothers in developing countries to obtain good standard of living and also have the nutritious food and organized children welfare program so this is a function done by unicef the next one is the headquarters of food and agricultural organization that is fao are situated in rome the capital of italy and the main function of fao is to ensure that people get regular supply of enough and high quality of food and to promote agriculture and the last one the world bank international uh, international bank for reconstruction and development that is uh, wb or ibrd uh, are situated in washington dc the capital of usa and the main function of world bank that is ibrd is to uh, provide low interest loans interest free credits and grant to development countries and they support a wide array of uh, investment in such a area as education health public administration infrastructure financial and private sector sector development agriculture and environmental and natural resources management so these are the functions of world bank ibrd so all these were about the various uh, this we have discussed about the all of the various specific areas and the leadership the work is been carried out of the united nations the name of the organization also and their where are their headquarters are they and the major uh functions of this organization now over here there is a activity uh, they have asked you to find uh, identify the logo given below and write down its full name see logo they have given to you and you have to write their full name so you have to do it on your own and uh, see in this you can find it out and you have to perform this activity you have to draw it in your book or take the picture and uh, find the names of all this now moving ahead is uh, corporation of india to the un india has adopted a strategy what india has adopted adopted which type of strat uh, strategy of solving the disputes with other countries through what un and india has always contributed on a large scale to the peacekeeping forces of united nation by sending soldiers wherever required see the the main functions of all we have talked about it and see india has always contributed uh, uh, uh india india has adopted a strategy of solving disputes with the foreign countries through the un and india has always always contributed on large scale to peacekeeping forces of the un india has sent a team of of uh, the fo uh, the united states by sending soldiers wherever they are required so indian has sent a team of doctors also to treat wounded soldiers in the korean war see they have sent doctors in uh, uh, and to uh, help out the wounded soldiers in the korean war and indian delegates on various post in the un has contrib uh, contributed to the welfare with their knowledge and experience india's contribution as a member of secur uh, security council and the other organs has always been noteworthy and the great ideals of uh, panchashil are the gift of india to the world see the india they have helped in many ways and they have contributed in the welfare of their knowledge and experience also india delegates holding various posts in the un 
and uh, see in this way india has helped a lot and the great ideas of panchil are the gift of india to the world ray of hope for the human race see if all the countries of the world cooperate with united nation world peace can be obtained in real sense see when if all the countries are there in the world if they will have a cooperation with the united nation then there would be a world peace can be achieved in the real sense and for this it is necessary that every country resolves to stop the production of deadly weapons see they all the countries of the world must resolve to stop produ- producing all that deadly weapons and crores of rupees can be saved and in this way crores of rupees can be saved saved of this raid and increasing weapons in the countries uh, and so this money can be used for the welfare of the people and see this crores of money that can be used for the human welfare so earth is the only planet for us to live see we all know that earth is a planet we, where we can survive and thus human being have to aim to at achieving world peace and human beings they should have the aim of achieving world peace and universal brotherhood there should be world peace also and the brotherhood among all the the nations i hope you all have understood it thank you for listening thank you